Hi everybody, my name is Karen McClelland and my boys have grown up at Meadow Springs Presbyterian Church just like I grew up there. When they were little, we used to read this book called Counting Blessings by Debbie Boone and it was one of my favorites to read to them. And so I thought I'd share it with you guys because during this time when you're not able to hang out with your friends like you normally do and be at church with your friends like we normally do, sometimes it's nice just to remember all of the blessings we still have. So enjoy this book called Counting Blessings by Debbie Boone. I'm happy. Do you know why I've discovered the secret to happiness? Do you want me to tell you? Counting blessings. No kidding. Every day, anywhere, all the time. Kind of like how we can talk to God anywhere, all the time. We can pray to him, talk to him. You know, things that you are thankful for, things that you are happy about. Did you ever try to not laugh when someone is tickling you? Have you tried that? Well, when you count your blessings, it's like getting tickled on the inside. Your frown turns upside down and your heart begins to sing. Come on, let's try it right here, right now. Let's start with three. I'll go first. Number one, my eyes, so I can see all of the blessings around me. Like number two, my cat, my fat cat, Cleo, asleep on my bed, which is actually number three, my bed, I mean, the coziest place in the whole wide world. Now it's your turn. Count your blessings, one, two, three. Count, or by yourself or here with me. Count the blessings in plain view or close your eyes and see a few. Count them standing on your head. Count them while you lie in bed. Keep a few in your back pocket. Tuck a few inside a locket. Count your blessings when you're blue. Count them when you're happy too. When I first started, I wrote a few blessings down each day and kept them in a box. Two weeks later, I read them all at once and wow, did I feel happy. Now I can't stop. You could try that. Write some blessings down on a piece of paper, put them in a box or a bag or a jar or a cup, whatever you have. I'm counting blessings inside. I'm counting blessings outside. Blessings that start with the letter P or any other letter. Blessings that go from A to Z, a personal favorite. How many blessings can I count in a minute? You can try it. Blessings that rhyme. This takes an expert. Thank you for the big green tree with the tree house that dad made for me. For all of the toys and all of the fun my friends and I have in the sun. There are no rules. No blessing is too big or too small. If you count it as a blessing, then it is one. Here's the deal. Think about things that make you sad and you'll be sad. Think about things in your life that make you happy and you'll be happy. It's part of having that mindset. Look for the good. Take it from me. Once you realize how full of blessings your life really is, you'll feel almost like you're going to explode and that is great because that's when you start looking around for ways to become a blessing to someone else a smile a kind word a helping hand or a hug feels good to help someone else blessings are like hugs from god to let you know how much he loves you counting blessings is like hugging god back And there's the end. I hope that you have a great day. Look for those blessings. Give your family a hug and know that God loves you no matter what. Bye, everybody. See you next time.